What's up everyone? Today's Geek Acrylics video is going to be a time lapse and commentary of my Nate Shot 100 Thieves Custom Funko Pop. I've been following Nate Shot since he's since he was with Optic Gaming. Um so for a very long time now. Um fan of Optic, fan of Nate Shot, but I also uh love what he's done with 100 Thieves. So I just wanted to make him my next kind of like gaming personality pop. I have previously done like Dr. Disrespect, um, Ninja back in the days of the Pon Pon and you know when he was still repping Luminosity. I have Crim6 and Scump from Optic Gaming. So, um, you know, I know people don't stay with the same organizations and whatever forever, but I think it's kind of cool to. Um, capture that part of their career and so um, yeah I thought I could do really cool things with the Nature of Funko some details and stuff that I'll get into in a minute um, also make sure if you enjoy these videos that you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithms that really helps leave, leave comments uh, give it a like uh, subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy my videos. And, you know, if you know Nate Shot, you know, send him this. L let him know. Let him know I sculpted him in that uh, tricolored hoodie that is so hard to get a hold of. Um, so this is polymer clay sculpted over a DIY blank male Funko body. And... Basically here, I was just trying to up my game. Each Funko I do, when I do like extensive sculpting especially, I try to um, take it a step further, add a little more detail, get better. So some of my other Funkos were a little more simple in terms of, you know, the pants, like Crim6 and Ninja, they're just wearing like, you know, really simple sweatpants. So I wanted to add a little detail texture by adding like a stitching effect, um, kind of fading and stuff to make it look like um, Nature is going to be wearing denim. As far as I know now, he you know he's really into you know collecting sneakers, but I think he's moved on to Nike, which is a shame. Because I love Adidas and he used to love Adidas. But uh, I put him in a pair of fairly recognizable Adidas shoes. It's a pretty popular style just to uh, really set it off and, and be able to sculpt a little more design. Instead of just like really simple shoes. Which is basically what I was doing before. Um, and Ninja also has a hoodie. And it doesn't quite have all the stitching and details that I really want to capture for Nature. Again, you know, stepping up my game. I do have a video, which I'll link in the description below, which will tell you um, basically how I did it. I slow a few steps down and talk about the tools and, and you know, give tips for, you know, going the extra mile. And really setting your custom Funkos apart with uh, details that really make it pop. So, you know, if you're watching this because you actually want to make your own Funko Pop, I do have a bunch of tutorials from start to finish on how to create them. But my latest one does talk about, like, the tips. Like, um, there's ones on how to sculpt a mohawk. Um, tips for... Basically creating more detail on hoodie and jeans and shoes. Um, and I do use the Nate Shot Funko as reference in that video as well. Um, right here I'm putting in the laces, which um, is a, it's a really tedious process. So it does have... It's hard to see in the video, obviously, because it's zoomed out, but... It's got the little eyelids and the, the laces that look like they're actually like laced up there basic lacing nothing fancy it's got the you know iconic you know adidas like three stripes um 
the little the little stylish markings on that particular style of Adidas. Um, there, I'm adding in a little more detail and stitching to the the hoodie. A, a lot of that's going to be hard to see. Um, it's a little bit easier once I get to the painting, you know, portion. Um, but if you, oh yeah, and have the hundred thieves. I simplified it. It's not exactly the same as what you would see on the actual tricolor hoodie. I did have to simplify it. I couldn't do the embroidered look. Well, maybe I could have, but um, for the sake of keeping it simple and clean, I did just engrave 100 Thieves logo into the hoodie. Um, I'm not 100% certain now, but at the time of this, uh, Nate Shaw was rocking a beard, like, you know, a little bit of facial hair. So um, I did try to capture that as well. Um, the head isn't sculpted fully. It's I basically just added the beard onto an existing Funko Pop. Um, but once everything is sculpted with polymer clay, it's then baked... Um, it goes through, I go through a process of, once it cools, I give it like 24 hours, I do wet sanding, priming, some more wet sanding, you know, if it still needs some areas that need to be touched up. Um, then it's painted with acrylics. And as you can see, I'm trying to keep it as accurate to the, the hoodie as possible, so I even got... Um, you know, try to get the color of the drawstrings on the hoodie and everything right. A little bit of, like, kind of fading and stuff on the denim. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with the details. So once everything is finished, I give it a couple days. Um, I, I make sure it's 100% dry. It's really thin layers on Funko Pop, so and acrylics do dry fast. But uh, as a rule of thumb, when painting with acrylics, you want to give it a little, a little time uh, before you varnish it. So with this, I do apply a polyacrylic to give it a nice glossy finish, and it really protects the paint. Um, yeah, so this is the finished Funko Pop. Um, this is Nate Shot, 100 Thieves, with all the little details on the shoes. I tried to pick a pair that would go well with this outfit. Gotta get a, <laughs> a nice outfit, color coordinated. You can see, you can see the belt loops and stuff a little better now, I think. The button on his jeans. You know, he's got the pockets, the back stitching. And this is kind of a close-up. I'm trying to get in a little bit closer. I tried to mimic where I saw, like, stitching and stuff in the hoodie on the website and recreate that. Um, so he's now chilling on my shelf with some of my others. That's Battery, Aaron Baker, Crim6, and Ninja. I do have some Doom Patrol custom Funko Pops that I'm currently working on. And... Yeah, I'll have a new video coming soon. Again, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you for watching.